Hey, folks. So, there's been some buzz lately about electric cars and green policies in the European Union, and we're here to break it down in a friendly way. First up, let's talk about the European Court of Auditors. They recently brought up a concern about the EU's plan to ban regular petrol and diesel cars by 2035. Now, they're not trying to stir the pot or anything, they just want to make sure we're thinking ahead. See, the auditors are worried that if we rush into this ban without figuring out where we'll get all the stuff needed for electric cars, we might end up importing a bunch of them from China. And while electric cars are awesome, relying too much on imports could mess with the EU's industrial sovereignty. That's a fancy way of saying we should be able to make our own stuff, right? Now let's dive into some numbers. The auditors looked into whether the recent CO2 standards for cars and vans, you know, those emissions limits are actually helping to clean up the air. Turns out, not really. Despite all the rules, emissions from cars aren't dropping like we hoped. So why the concern? Well, the auditors are saying that by 2035, electric cars might be our only option. Some folks say we could still use regular cars if we switch to biofuels, or special e-fuels, but the auditors aren't so sure. One member of the court, Anime Turtleboom, put it bluntly, Europe's green policy might backfire if we're not careful. She's asking the big questions, like how can we fight climate change without hurting our industries or making life more expensive for everyone? And here's the kicker, if we don't get our act together, we might not even meet our clean air goals for 2035. That's a big deal. Now, you might be wondering why the auditors brought this up now, especially with elections around the corner. Well, they say it's just a coincidence. They're not trying to play politics. They just want to make sure we're thinking about all the angles. So, what's the solution? The auditors think the EU needs to update its strategy on batteries and figure out how to get the materials we need right here in Europe. That way, we won't have to rely on imports and we can keep our industries strong. 2026 is shaping up to be a big year. That's when the European Commission will take a hard look at how we're doing with those emissions targets. If we're not on track, they might need to rethink things. In the end, the EU wants to clean up its car fleet and fight climate change. But we've got to do it right. We need access to the right materials, support for our industries, and plenty of charging stations for those electric cars. So, let's keep the conversation going and make sure we're all on the same page. Together, we can build a greener, cleaner future for Europe.